So the first update is that the Marvelous Designer slash Clo Live Sync plugin for Unreal Engine has been updated and is now available on fab.com. If you've never heard of this plugin, it basically allows you to take your MetaHuman and export it to Marvelous Designer in one click, create your clothing, simulate it even, and get that right back into Unreal Engine. It really streamlines this whole entire process. Next up, the new plugin for Maya, MetaHumans for Maya, has seen another update. I forget if this is 1.1 or 1.2. Anyway, there's a new forum post that you can check out that describes all of the new updates for the Maya plugin that has all of the MetaHuman features in it. And for me, I use Maya for assembling MetaHumans. So I make my MetaHuman in Unreal Engine, and then I can assemble it directly in Maya, where I can then make custom clothing for it. That's what I'm mostly using it for. But Maya is also the place that you're going to be doing your custom expression editing, which is a little bit too advanced for me, but I know that Cory slash Blue uses the expression editor to basically make custom MetaHumans like Blue, and then uses this system to basically re-sculpt and reshape the morph targets of the face. So my favorite update is a new video from Unreal Fest Orlando covering the ins and outs of the new Chaos Cloth simulation workflow in Unreal Engine 5.6. And the big difference between Unreal Engine 5 Chaos Cloth and say something like Marvelous Designer or Houdini Vellum is that Chaos Cloth simulation needs to run at 60 frames per second on say a PS5. It needs to simulate clothing really, really fast. So if you watch this video, you can start to see all the different methods they have for basically avoiding doing raw cloth simulation and the more expensive cloths to cloth simulation. They have a lot of different mechanics that I'm personally going to be trying out and hopefully sharing my results on this channel. And it's really, really cool to finally see it really broken down and laid out in a way that at least I can start to understand. So look forward to some more content from me and hopefully from Epic Games regarding Chaos Cloth Simulation, and for me, uh, as it pertains with MetaHumans, of course. And, in case you missed it, I recently released something called High Hills Rig for MetaHumans. This basically allows you to use regular flat-footed animations from Lyra, the third-person template, any animation that you're normally used to using that doesn't have high heels built into it. This rig allows you to automatically reposition the MetaHumans' feet and body so that they fit perfectly into high heels. I've also created a new MetaHuman outfit that takes advantage of this system, and really I think it's one of the first MetaHuman outfits that works with the parametric body system that also actually has high heels. And finally, if you're headed to SIGGRAPH this year, make sure you stop by the Movin booth, who is the motion capture company whose hardware I'm using to capture the body right now, completely live, this is just an OBS recording I'm making for fun. Make sure you find the move-in booth where they're going to have the move-in tracing LiDAR system on display and you'll be able to even demo the brand new beta build that has hands and fingers, which my current version does not have. So head to SIGGRAPH, get to use their new system before I even get to use it and uh, tell them that Matt sent you. So that wraps it up for this video. There is a lot of news happening around MetaHumans and I'm really excited for the future of the entire ecosystem from making digital clothing, motion capture, and of course, everything that Epic Games is bringing out. If you're interested in learning more about MetaHumans and you're working with them a lot, I've started a new Discord channel called Workman's Lab that is dedicated to basically MetaHumans, motion capture, digital fashion, that sort of stuff. I've had a Discord like this in the past, but I shut it down. Well, I've basically restarted it, and if you're interested in joining, the link to that will be in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll check you on the next video.